there has been some optimism, but China may feel differently, and certainly Canada does. It is caught smack in the middle of this spat after warning of grave consequences in the wake of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou's arrest. China confirmed last night that it has detained two Canadians on suspicion of endangering national security. Today, an op-ed in China's state-run tabloid says Canada must set her completely free and warned that China's revenge will be far worse than detaining a Canadian. But it is only a matter of time until the onus is on the United States, which requested Meng's arrest in the first place. The next step is for the Justice Department to file for her extradition. Now, as all of this plays out, Huawei continues to face setbacks around the world on security concerns. The U.S. has banned the use of its equipment by the government and contractors and is reportedly pushing its allies to do the same. So far, Australia, New Zealand and Japan have all moved to limit Huawei's contracts. Both sides, the U.S. and China, have so far been careful to try and keep Huawei and the CFO's arrest separate from trade talks. But these latest developments and President Trump's suggestion that Hmong could be a bargaining chip may make that more difficult.